and I can just make. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the stream. And uh, today I'm playing GM Sam Chang one. Uh, first, I'd like to thank Chess24 for inviting me as uh, the last person in the Panda Blitz Cup. Really, my first time doing this. So I'm not sure exactly what would happen. But uh, yeah, anyway, I'm playing Sam Shanklin. He's my teammate in the online, the recent, the Finnish online Olympiad. It's going to be a tough match. And he probably has this line all analyzed up to the end. So I have to be careful. Um, yeah, but the position is very complex already. Probably should take here with B take C6. Then I'll probably play rook G1. Try to put some pressure here in the G file. Um, not really sure who's better here. The position is very dynamic, but black has a very good pawn structure. My king's a bit unsafe in the center. So probably should play rook A C8. Then I play queen C5. If I, if I can trade queens, I'll be quite happy. Play rook A D8. That's interesting. The queen C6. Maybe I'll just play queen C6 just to be safe. D takes E3. Queen takes D6. E takes F2. Queen takes F2. Rook D6. Can I play bishop E5? Maybe I can, right? Rook D2, King E3. So I'll see. Hopefully I'm not missing anything. But he can't take on D2 because of King E3. The knight on F6 is hanging. So he's down a pawn. In this position. And my bishop is very strong. So white has a clearly better endgame, I believe. Rook e6, I can play d4. This spin along the g file is very annoying. She should probably play g6 now. I should try to convert this position. You don't get to be pawn up every game. Uh, so I should play g6 and knight d5 and rook d8. Wonder what I should play. If g6, I could play rook c7. Okay, g6, rook c7, knight b5, rook a7. Hmm, it, gets, it becomes very active. I'll play, uh, hmm. What should I play here? Bishop takes f6, rook takes f6. I'll play rook c7. Now we can turn knight b5 to sacrifice a pawn. For the initiative, knight d5, rook a7, f6, bishop g3, rook c8. Yeah, he tries that. Uh, but I still believe white should be better because he's two pawns up after, after all, right? I can play bishop c7, rook f7, rook c1. Yeah, let's try bishop c7. Hmm, bishop c7, he's got rook c6. Okay. Bishop g3 is fine. <coughs> White is two pawns up, but uh, he's still got a lot of tricks. I think rook e1 should be sufficient here. Rook c2 checking. Can I play king f1? Knight e3, king g1. Let's try that. If rook takes e1, then just king takes. <clears throat> no, I'm, I'm way ahead on the clock, so it that's a uh, going to be a large factor here. F5, bishop e5. He's going to try to give uh, some sort of perpetual check. 
with F4 and Knight E3. But uh, hopefully it's not enough. Give a check. And Rook D7 to dislodge this powerful Knight on D5. You should be very close to winning. I should. <coughs> Knight e3, I can just take on f4. Knight g2, king d1. Takes a2, bishop h6 check. Yeah, now he loses this. h7 pawn. Uh, I'm many pawns up, but let's see how they convert this. d5, knight f3, and d6. d5, knight takes f3, d6. Hmm. Yeah, I'm also way ahead in the clock, so. Oh, it's got rook a5. Okay, let's play d6, rook d5, and bishop d2. Threatening this knight on h4. Rook a1 check, king e2. Knight f5, uh, my pawns are all disconnected, but uh, yeah, black only has a few tricks left here. D1, bishop g5. <coughs> I have to be careful not to hang my bishop. I almost played bishop f4 there. Uh, okay. Click. Good game in the first game. Let's copy. Okay.